Aston Martin conjures up images of James Bond and the many supercars that Q outfitted with high-tech gadgetry, images that may well have been the inspiration for the Aston Lagonda in the 1970s and 80s. In 1976, one of the most spectacular cars ever developed in the British Isles made its debut and touched off a heated debate. Some said it was plain ugly. Others thought it had a certain fascination. Among them, a businessman from Hong Kong. But he wanted the car as a station wagon. Aston Martin never intended to build a station wagon version. So, in the late 1990s, Swiss company Bruce Engineering got permission to convert a sedan into the one and only Aston Martin shooting brake ever built. The well-to-do buyer already had a sedan for special occasions, but he wanted his luxury and to take his dogs with him too. The Aston's 5.3-liter, 309-horsepower engine purrs along smoothly but powerfully. In the James Bond spirit, the onboard computer keeps the driver informed by voice. Oil overheating. Water overheating. Low fuel. Brake fault. Ice hazard. Alarm time. Aston Martin was showing off its technical prowess in the Lagonde, but nowadays, unless the cars have been overhauled, a whole lot can go wrong. The model's circuit boards and contacts were prone to corrosion. Wherever they could, the Swiss converted the shooting brake's digital instruments to analog, so when the driver pushes a button, he can see and feel the result. Only one Aston Martin Lagonda shooting brake was ever built. It's possibly the sexiest station wagon in existence.